If United play like that for the rest of the season, they'll be pushing for top four. Brian got to decide today, but that could have went either way, and we're unlucky with the Ganacho offside goal. There's two things United need to do to keep the momentum going, though. Ten Hag seems to have found a way playing the box midfield and the two pacey wingers either side to get them out of trouble, and they're not getting exposed as much. They don't have as much control in the game as they should, but they're definitely harder to play against. One thing is their outlets. Ahmad was unbelievable today. He got back in, made tackles, made things happen, and was unbelievable for the goal. But Rashford, he needs to be stripped from that team. I mean this seriously, he could cost Ten Hag his job. He's one dimensional, all he wants is balls over the top and when he gets them, he's usually offside. Garnacho offers more going in behind and comes to feet to be able to make things happen. He needs to start. The second thing they need to do is keep Martinez fit. The amount of times United were able to play out today because of his composure on the ball. But not only that, players want to try and press him and Onana then can go long into space which United got a lot of joy out of today. Overall, they did well today but on the face of it, Brighton deserved to win. How good was Joe Pedro? He looked like a different player today. He was so at ease every time he got the ball. There was a few times Martinez was on his back. He takes it in and just lays it off so easily, which is not a very easy thing to do. He thoroughly deserved his goal. United need to do better defending at the back post, but it was a great finish to add to Welbeck's in the first half. Brighton remain unbeaten and United face Liverpool next week.